Look at that mess. But we're going to clean it. So with that, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. Yes, it's me, April Love, here in Boston, wishing you a blessed time. Hope you find reasons to smile, to laugh, to enjoy life, to appreciate everything and everyone around you. And today, we're going to clean, do some artwork. I'm going to try to make it to the gym, but we're going to start with the house cleaning first because I put it off way too much. Um... So we're going to tackle the kitchen in this pile and the pile behind me. <laughs> and yeah, and we'll, we'll see how much we can get done because I got to work tonight. I need to be able to rest and take a nap. So we're going to get whatever we can get done. Um, anyway, see you in a minute. Before... So at the end of the day, that's still there, but I did clean my room, so I got an art piece done, I cleaned my room, um, I did do some dishes, but I didn't get to what I was planning to do, and as far as the laundry, people are hogging the machines today, so had to put it off for a little while. Um, other than that, the only thing I really have left to do is take a nap. Um, and cook dinner. And maybe I'll show you that when I, when I get her, start making it. So anyway, uh, time for nap. So how was your nap? Well, I'm about to start cooking and I'll show you a little bit about of what I'm gonna do. And it involves this thing that looks like a football. Or so there you go. Basically if you don't know what this is, this is a spaghetti squash. And I'm gonna make spaghetti Squash Alfredo. Ready? Now the hardest part about this whole process is just cutting it open. There's a couple ways to go about it. But basically, one of the ways is you cut off each end, stand it up, and then cut it in half lengthwise. So that's what I'm about to do. I did it! That's the first side. I did it! Ta -da. That's what the inside looks like. Next thing is to dig it out. 
part is to drizzle it with olive oil, a little salt and pepper, and you're going to put it on a cookie, tray, cookie sheet. So if you have a pastry brush, you can brush in the oil or just use your fingers. Now a little pepper. Now the good thing about spaghetti squash is it's very low carb, high in nutrients. It's a great substitute for regular spaghetti and pasta. And it's very versatile. I can show you a bunch of recipes my personal favorite is the Alfredo, um, but Tasty has a bunch of recipes. I think I'm going to put garlic powder too. And my oven is ready. So a little garlic powder. And then we're going to just put it on put it on the cookie sheet face down so we're going to this and with that just stick it in the oven and let it cook. So I just took the squash out and I just started shredding it. And it's very easy. Once it's been cooked, it's very easy to shred through. And now you can see why it's called spaghetti squash because it basically looks like noodles. So I'm going to shred this up and then I'm going to start my Alfredo sauce. And I'll show you as much as I can. Alright, so I forgot to show you the process of the um, Alfredo sauce, but I'll put the link for the recipe down below. I just added cherry tomatoes, spinach, I'm about to add the broccoli, and I'll add the spaghetti squash all in the same pan. So, let me start getting the broccoli in there. The reason why I'm not just dumping it in there is because I got veggie stock in here and I don't want to dilute the um, Alfredo sauce too much. So, alright, I'm going to finish the rest and I'll show you when I'm done. So, this is basically the end result. You can see it's still bubbling up a little bit. Here's my bowl. I know it looks kind of mushy on camera, but... Believe me, it's still a bunch of noodles. This is by far my favorite way to do the spaghetti squash um, with the Alfredo sauce. And this Alfredo sauce is very simple, but has a lot of flavor if you do it, if you do it right. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this. If you if you like it. If you try it yourself, leave a comment below and let me know how you liked it yourself. And again, spaghetti squash is very versatile. The only tough part is cracking it open. <laughs> Other than that, I mean, you can do tomato sauce. You can do a Mexican style. You can do mac and cheese style. You can do... i seen one where they did a... Uh, they they um, put an egg in it. So... You know, there's so many different ways to use it, and it's healthy. The only unhealthy part about this, really, is the Alfredo sauce. At some point, I am going to look for a, um, a non-dairy Alfredo sauce, if I can, um, just to make it that much healthier, or at least with less butter and uh, cream. Find, 
like an alternative. Anyway, I'm going to continue eating and I'll talk to you in a minute. Alright, so I, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like that new art piece. I'm still up in the air on if I liked it, like it. I was trying to do the Boston skyline and do my own unique um, take on it, but it didn't come out exactly the way I wanted to. The background I love. You know, the all the purple and blue and all that. I love all that. It's just the the skyline itself didn't it wasn't the exact vision that I had. So, um but I I'm gonna try to do another one similar to that and see if I could get it the way I want it to be. Um but for now I'm gonna end this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subcri subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, until next time, like, love, share, and inspire. Much love. Peace.